devastating tornado swept through the city of Dalaman in the Mugla province last Saturday, leaving behind a trail of chaos and destruction. Numerous videos shared on social media vividly depict the sheer force of the winds that battered Dalaman. The tornado's onset was marked by a deluge of rain accompanied by ominous masses of black clouds, swiftly transforming into a menacing funnel cloud that unleashed powerful gusts. This natural disaster wreaked havoc in the Dalaman district of Magla, resulting in significant damage. Trees were uprooted, crashing into residential structures. Roofs were torn apart, tents were flung, and debris was strewn across the area. According to Dalaman District Governor Misit Yakuda, initial assessments reported the shattering and explosion of 15 vehicle windows. Moreover, in the Aegean and central neighborhoods, the roofs of three to four houses were severely damaged, while the exteriors and tiles of numerous other houses suffered. Meteorologists had issued warnings about the tornado striking Dalaman, cautioning about flying roofs and falling trees. The Regional Meteorological Directorate Regional Forecast and Warning Center forged the public to take precautionary measures against impending severe weather along the coastal regions. Subsequently, a storm hit Sangi's Topol Road in the morning following the alert. The tornado, born from this storm, ravaged several houses, uprooting electricity poles and trees in its path. This tornado, spawned by heavy morning rain and a 10-minute hailstorm in the Dalaman area, severely disrupted life and caused extensive damage to residences, businesses, and agricultural land in Merkiz, Ege, and Caracal neighborhoods. Efforts to address the aftermath began promptly, with city officials mobilizing to clear the streets of fallen poles. Notably, a garage tent, approximately six meters long along with its metal components, was carried away by the tornado and landed two streets away. Authorities, including the police and city teams, conducted thorough investigations of affected areas. A brief yet intense 10-minute tornado inflicted damage on vehicles, homes, workplaces, and agricultural land in Dalaman Merkis, Each, and Caracal districts, causing significant material losses. The destructive impact ranged from shattered window panes to collapsed tents and workplace structures. Due to an electricity pole collapse, the power supply was disrupted, prompting the electricity distribution company team to commence damage assessment procedures. City officials persist in their efforts to clear the streets of fallen poles. The Mugla Metropolitan Municipality Dalaman Fire Department and Dalaman District Police Department documented the damage to vehicles, residences, and workplaces, conducting thorough investigations based on reports from concerned citizens. Meanwhile, the community in Dalaman came together swiftly to assist those affected by the disaster. Volunteers joined hands with emergency response teams, aiding in the clearance of debris and providing support to displaced families. As the extent of the devastation became clearer, local authorities and relief organizations initiated efforts to provide essential supplies, shelter, and medical assistance to the affected residents. Temporary shelters were set up to accommodate those whose homes were rendered uninhabitable by the tornado. The recovery process was underway, but the impact of the tornado continued to reverberate through the city. Repair crews worked tirelessly to restore power, mend damaged structures, and clear the debris-strewn streets. Assessments for long-term rehabilitation and reconstruction plans were also put into motion to rebuild affected neighborhoods. In the aftermath, stories of resilience and solidarity emerged. Individuals and businesses offered support, donations poured in, and communities rallied together to aid in the recovery efforts. Despite the immense challenges, a spirit of unity and determination prevailed as Alamon began their arduous journey toward healing and restoration. The local authorities urged continued vigilance and preparedness for any future weather-related emergencies, emphasizing the importance of early warnings and readiness in mitigating the impact of natural disasters. In the weeks following the tornado, a collaborative effort between governmental bodies, nonprofit organizations, and volunteers intensified. Reconstruction projects gained momentum with a focus on restoring damaged infrastructure, rebuilding homes, and re-establishing essential services. Temporary shelters evolved into community hubs offering not just accommodation but also counseling services, medical aid, and logistical support. 
These centers became focal points for residents to seek assistance and share their experiences, fostering a sense of solidarity among those affected. Local businesses, despite facing their own challenges, contributed to the recovery by offering employment opportunities, donating supplies, and participating in fundraising initiatives. This collective support network played a pivotal role in bolstering the city's resilience. The impact on agriculture, a crucial aspect of Dalaman's economy, necessitated extensive efforts to rehabilitate farmlands and restore livelihoods. Agricultural support programs were initiated to assist farmers in recovering from crop damage and restoring their operations. Furthermore, educational institutions played a pivotal role in aiding the affected communities. Schools not only provided a sense of normalcy for children but also served as distribution centers for aid and information hubs for families seeking assistance. As the city navigated the aftermath, there was a concerted effort to implement more robust disaster preparedness strategies. Community workshops, emergency drills, and enhanced communication systems were put in place to ensure a swifter and more coordinated response in the event of future calamities. The resilience demonstrated by the people of Dalaman in the face of adversity became an inspiration. Stories of individuals supporting each other, rebuilding their lives, and showing unwavering determination in restoring their beloved city echoed across the region, becoming a beacon of hope for other communities facing similar challenges.